Unisize is my third startup. Doing it twice before, I realized the best way to build a company, best way to identify your technology is actually to go and talk to your customers, not where you are, but where they are. For a biotechnology company, in my mind, there are three types of customers. You have patients who get the, these drugs prescribed to them. You have physicians who are the ones who are administering the drug or prescribing these drugs. And you have investors who are supporting these enterprises. When we think about physicians, these are nephrologists. I wanted to talk to as many of them as possible. I decided I'm going to go and meet with them wherever they are. I fly out to New York. I go to Boston and physicians from Harvard, Mass General. I go to San Francisco, go talk to these academic physicians as well as clinicians who are in community practice and prior practice. One thing seemed to emerge when I sit down with them, either in a fancy Italian restaurant or in their hospital cafeteria, that they all have very divergent opinions. Some of them have opinions which require technology that will take decades to develop. There are others who have solutions in mind that will only solve a problem for a few of them but there's not one thing that you can develop in relatively near term and that will affect most of their patients. Doing these travels, talking to these many people, getting these divergent opinions, I feel really frustrated and tired. And I'm thinking to myself, where will I go from here? I get a call from a friend of mine who says, why don't you go and talk to my friend? Let's call him Fred. Fred is a physician who is practicing in Central Valley. I decided I'm going to drive to Central Valley, California. I take the address that Fred gives me. I decide I'm going to go meet him there. As I'm pulling in my car, I realize this is a sports bar in the middle of a strip mall. As I'm entering in, I'm beginning to wonder, am I in the right place? Is this the right thing to do? But I say, you know, I already drove four hours. Might make the best use of my time here anyway. When we sit down, Fred says, he has had a long day. He really wants to relax, chill out. He orders some beer and fries. Neither beer nor fries are my thing. But I said, I'm going to go with the flow. After we get to know each other a little bit, I asked Fred the same question that I've asked before. Fred, if there was one thing that you could do for your patient, what would that be? Fred says, Shalab, there are a lot of problems these patients have. But one problem that if I could have a magic wand, if I could solve it for them, and that would be to somehow reduce their pill burden. He said, these patients are taking 20 to 30 pills per day. And they are not taking for a day or a week, they're taking for the rest of their life. If there's one way you could solve the problem to reduce the pill burden, that will help them a lot. Looking from my own experience as being a physician, I realized this is one thing that we can solve, not in two decades from now, but in very near term. And that gave us the opportunity, that gave me the idea, that moment in time, became the pivotal moment for me to be able to figure out that oxylanthum carbonate, a lead drug that we are developing at Unisysid for reducing pill burden, could be that solution that patients are looking for, that physicians are looking for. Every now and then, I go to medical conferences, I run into Fred. Every time I see Fred, I think about beer and fries. And it always reminds me, the greatest insight can come from most unexpected places. That encounter with Fred, those beer and fries, changed the course for us at Unisysive. And for that, I'm eternally grateful.